So today I'm talking about a Toyota with a P2402 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P2402 code? Well, it's an EVAP system leak detection pump control circuit high. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars, they have an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. This is for emissions. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad leak detection pump, could be the charcoal canister, could be in the wiring, a blown fuse, and possibly possibly an EVAP leak. And so the main component that the onboard computer is seeing an issue with is the leak detection pump, which is going to be located down underneath the vehicle, usually on the charcoal canister. Sometimes it can be separate, but it's usually located on the charcoal canister. And so the first thing to do is go locate the charcoal canister on your particular Toyota. And they can be laid out a little bit differently, but they'll be up and underneath the vehicle somewhere around the gas tank. For example, here's a 2019 RAV4, and it's located right up underneath the driver's side. It'll have a metal protection cover that you have to remove, and it's right there. Sometimes they're located behind the rear axle, but it'll be up underneath the vehicle somewhere. And so after you locate the charcoal canister, the next thing to do is check out all the wiring real good. Be sure there's no damaged wires or anything like that and that everything's connected good. Basically, just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connections, is going to cause issues. You can also check for any blowing fuses or anything like this since that can also cause issues. And so the first thing to do is check out the wiring real good. If the wiring all looks good, there's no blowing fuses or anything, then the next thing to check out is going to be this leak detection pump. And you can test it if you want to. Too. there's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these and this is what the onboard computer is seeing an issue with so the next thing to do is going to be to test or replace that leak detection pump you can buy the whole charcoal canister all together in one assembly or you can buy them separately sometimes it can be a good idea just to go ahead and buy a whole new charcoal canister especially if the old one's really old since there might be some other kind of issues going on with it it might be leaking or something but again, you can buy it separately if you want to. But the next thing to do is to either test or replace that leak detection pump. And so if you got through and you've done that, you checked out the wiring, that looks good. There's no blowing fuses. That leak detection pump tests good. Then the next thing that can cause this problem is going to be that one of these hoses is leaking and it's causing a problem. And usually when this happens, you get another code. So be sure to pay attention to that if you are getting other codes. But the next thing to check for is going to be if there's a leak anywhere inside of any of these hoses. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system and wherever the smoke came out, if it came out around one of these hoses, they would know where the leak's at, so it'd make it easier to spot. You can go around and try to examine them and see if you can't find any bad hoses or cracks or anything like that, but using a smoke machine is a good method. There's some low-cost smoke machines on Amazon and eBay and things like this. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make one up yourself. There's some YouTube videos on that and how you can make one up for like five, ten dollars if you needed to, but the next thing to do is to go around and find a leak that might be inside of any of these hoses going around everything, and this includes the gas cap. The gas cap is part of the EVAP system and needs to seal good, so be sure to check that. But the next thing to do would be to go around and try to find any leaks that might be in the system. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P2402 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.